Hello everybody, Mimi here, and I wanted to show y'all all my wonderful stuff that I just got recently from doing some shopping. I have done some eBay shopping, um, went shopping with my mom last week, and also um, got some stuff from Nola Harris, which she sells on Facebook. She has actually a Facebook, um, oh, group that she's selling on. And so a lot, some of this stuff I got from her. And she's out of Canada, so um, I picked up a few things from her. This is the stuff that I got from her recently. I absolutely love these butterflies. I'm gonna be able to do a lot with these appliques. Got this yummy, um, I call it kinda like a gypsy material. Um, it'll probably come from India. I think it's so, so pretty. I just absolutely love it. I just just would love to wear it. It's so pretty. And uh, these little dullies here, they, I think they call these uh, pineapples. Aren't those pretty? I just thought these were so, I love doing stuff with these. Lovely little dolly um, crocheted um, little, I can't think of the name of it, but I love this ribbon that she sent some of her stuff in. You know, all this ribbon, I can reuse it. This right here is some really pretty, um, kind of like damask heavy material that I got from her and it'll make a really pretty cover on a junk journal or a fabric journal. This right here is some lovely um, embroidery material. I think I got this from her too. And so I'm gonna be able to cut this up and cut all that, that lace off there and use it. And this right here is so pretty, I love this. And I'm gonna tea dye this up and be able to use this in my junk journals and my crafts too. And this is really, really pretty. I got, she said this was kind of a heavy duty material here. And actually either side to me looks pretty, but it has flowers on it roses, some writing, and I thought the color would be pretty, especially for spring. And then this is some of my eBay stuff. Look at all this. I really got lucky and got some really good deals on some of this. Some rip rack, this beautiful lace here. Love this right here, it's so gorgeous. That's just beautiful. And this is so dainty. I can't wait to use some of this. I love this piece right here. This will be good, really pretty. But I was so excited with all this. And some of this is just like little trashy stuff that you know, you just kind of use in your uh, snippet rolls. And I'll remember to show you my snippet roll that I made at my mom's house. It turned out so cute. This right here is really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And some of it's already kind of the color I love. This right here, I just love this right here too. It's so soft. Kind of like an eyelet, nearly. And let's see, what else? This right here was another one I really thought turned out so cute. Pretty, pretty, pretty stuff. Love this. This is just so kind of, um, looks like a French lace. And these right here are really pretty. Look at that. It always amazes me the hard work that people used to do to embroidery on this stuff. And, you know, it's kind of like a lost art. And that's just gorgeous. I love that piece. And then these are just some small little embroidery things. Um, I've been really interested in doing some fabric journals and I'm working on one right now. These actually came from Belgium and these are fantastic for uh, when you're doing fabric journals for like the layering. You can tee dot these up and the napkins. So I love having, having extra of those. Those are really good for bases. I thought this collar was so pretty. Isn't that beautiful? and just more, 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 more stuff. Got a bunch of, um, this is some ribbon trims. I love this color here, and this red's really pretty. These two little things right here I thought turned are really cute little appliques. Some more um, uh, 
have the little napkins, and some of these are linen, which I love linen. Aren't those pretty? Look at that. I just had to share with y'all some of this goodies I got. And I gotta get busy, but I'm fixing to go on a big trip, so I'm gonna be gone for a while, and I wish I could take all my crafting with me, but I'm not gonna be able to take very much. We're gonna be, I'm gonna be gone for about six weeks. The, this right here is so pretty. I know you can get some of this like at Hobby Lobby, but I love using this in my crafts. And then my mom gifted me all this yummy embroidery stuff. She had a whole bunch of embroidery and she said these are her cut ups. So she let me cut some of them up and to be able to use in making some cute things out of them. A little butterfly on that one. So my mom loves embroidery stuff. So she had collected some things and so she was kind enough to Look at that with the little um, dragonfly on it. I love that. Lily pads to gift me some of this stuff here. So, uh, and this one here has got strawberries on it. Isn't it pretty? I love that strawberry one. And a real dainty one here. But anyway, okay. Um, this is some of our stuff we got shopping. Um, me and her split it. We both uh, paid for certain things and then we, you know, cut it up. I love this. Kind of it's a chiffon. I'm not for sure if I'm saying that right. I have no idea. But anyway, I love this material. Um, I think you could really use it in a lot of different things, even for backgrounds on beautiful pictures. So that was my idea. And the colors I thought were really pretty. And we got lucky here on these fabric samples. This is all linen fabric samples, and some of them have ruffles on them, some of them are colored. I love linen, and I like the way these are. And so um, you can stamp on them, you can you know use them in your journals, they're just so pretty. And my mom took some of these too, and they have already the little holes on them, and like they're on a ring. But I thought that, you know, we could do something with them. So um, we got this a really good price. This I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Um, they have 40% off on the spring collection here. And I thought about using it um, to cut out the... It's just a... Na um, oh, not a napkin, but a... Oh, y'all know what these are. Anyway, you put your plate and stuff on them. Um... I just thought it would be pretty to cut this out. I love the colors of it, so. And this is something I had bought a while back. It is kind of like a little throw, but I love the material. And I'm, you know, this oh, this is my favorite color, this pink, kind of rosy colored pink. So I figured I can cut it up and I could really use a lot of this in, you know, like for uh, fabric journal covers and just in my, you know, there's a beautiful little, embroidery on the side kind of a trim there so it's got a lot of possibilities and I got got a really good price set on it uh, we have a resale shop that has a mall that has a lot of little vendors in it and so my mom and I like to go there and we really got some good deals the other day and this I fell in love with this tablecloth it's huge but look at all the possibilities it's kind of a linen and there's just tons of different colors here. So I've got a lot of ideas. Uh, you could use it on that side or this side. And I can cut it up. It's kind of more of a fall color, but I couldn't resist it for the price. It's really beautiful. And let's see, we got this um, polished uh, fabric here that's really pretty. And... Um, it's not what they call it, but anyway, it's kind of got a sheen to it, but it's a thicker material, so it would be, you know, really good for um, fabric journals or just regular journals, too. I've got where I mix things up when I make my journals. Here is a blouse that I have had for a while, and it's never really fit me right, so of course, you know, I'm going to cut all this up and use it and look at all the lovely lace I have on here to be able to use and then it's got this yum really pretty lining in there can make some pretty flowers out of that 
This right here is another shirt that I had gotten really cheap somewhere, and I love the, the material on it. This would make up some really pretty uh, flowers. So I was excited about getting that. I just thought the material was really pretty. And then these two things came to, uh, you know, not that excited about this, but it is some kind of trims, and I might can use these in my um, journals too, or in my just crafting. And then this right here was a blue, and I thought this would be pretty in a Fourth uh, of July, you know, red, white, and blue journal. So I got a lot of this trim too. So anyway, thank y'all so much. I had a fantastic time, and I have gonna be going up to the New England States here in about a week or so, so I'm sure I'll find some more wonderful things, but anyway, I wish I could take all this with me and do some crafting, but maybe I can sneak in a few things. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have a blessed weekend, and thanks uh, for everybody for all their lovely comments. I sure appreciate it.